Hey, Uncle Pa. Hey, Ernie. How you doing? <laughs> it's me. Okay, so um, I've decided what I'm going to do. The reason why I'm calling you now is to tell you that I got a phone call from the government. I got like a whole bunch of phone calls. They were like really intent on getting a hold of me. And I found out that I've got either, okay, now the Godhead is four of us. So I've either got three other brothers of mine. Uh, there's four kids. There's four of us kids, four of me. I think there's four of me. Now there's either three of them are impersonating me. But see, the thing of it is, is I got them all by the balls because I'm rich. See, what happened, Auntie Ernie, is they did this. So I would have to pay off a COVID funding so I can't proceed with my plan. Okay, now what I found out is the government, their people are laundering money in my name. They're buying cell phones. They're buying all kinds of shit. They're just running a muck and hell and I told the government no I don't they, I, apparently I've got like seven bank accounts and oh, holy like I'm a rock star I'm like that's not me man that's not me doing that and I lost James Warbisky lost his ID on White Avenue so somebody could have impersonated his name that's when he first started having people ordering stuff in his name and that and he told the government and tried to prove it so now what I got to do is I got to prove this to the government. Now, I believe that The Born Supremacy, the movie The Born Supremacy with Matt Damon, I believe that is true. And I have memories of that. I have memories of being in a peacekeeping mission in Bosnia and Herzegovina and finding three grown men raping a kid, basically a 12-year-old, and I murdered all three of them. Now, here's something else that I believe that I murder people for money. I believe that's what I was doing. I was killing bad people for money. And I have a whole shitload of money in the bank. I have a whole bunch of money in the bank. And they're all pissed off because they can't get that. But see, here's the smart deal. I ran around on various different identi identities. I had all kinds of different identities. And I have my real identity is in a bank. In somewhere in Germany, it's in or somewhere I'm not going to say where, but I have my real identification plus 30 million in Deutsch Reichmarks, 30 million in Reichmarks in a bank. And I killed people for a living. I know this for a fact because they fucked me around in the hospital to see what I was capable. And I broke this old lady's arm. I broke her arm just in a flash. I broke her arm, spun her, flipped her right up 300 pounds. I spun her right over and broke her arm. And they, they, she never came back to work. And I said, fuck, you don't ever lay your hands on me for no reason. You can't feed me stuff that I don't like. So they forced me to take an injection every month. But I'm still not going to quit doing what I'm doing, Annie Ernie. What I need to do is I need to clear James Werbisky's name. I'm going to get, uh, because I can, I've been working a lot with the law and everything. And I'm going to get his his criminal record disbanded. I'm going to get it sealed so then I can travel and then I'm going to re-get his passport, which they so ignorantly stole from me. They used the harps to make me think of something else and I forgot my, my passport and everything. So what I'm going to need to do is once I get this, I need to get money. I need to save money, start save, saving my money and I'm going to and I'm saving the money right now. This is how stupid they are. I've got money that the government's been taken from me. They're going to have to give it all back because I didn't do this. I told them this. There's somebody doing that. They're impersonating me and I keep telling the bank and the bank's not doing anything. They keep switching my account. And then when they see this dirty activity coming up, they 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 didn't call me or anything like that. And uh and there has to be somebody, it has to be, I have to have like a twin brother, an evil twin or something that's doing this, or someone's got to do this that has my identity or something, and they're using my identity, because they got my whole wall and my fucking social insurance number and everything, and then so I re-got my identity, James Warbisky re-got his wallet, and he got a birth certificate from Whitehorse, a newer style birth certificate and everything and I got that so I still have my birth certificate and I got all my identification including my picture ID however my 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 identification 
it says that I have brown eyes and brown hair. And I don't have brown hair. I have black hair. And I have green eyes, light green eyes, light and between light and darkish green eyes. On, on one that's sunny out and the sun shining on my eyes, you can see them. They're bright green. I have really cool looking eyes. And I'm reptilian. I'm reptilian. So that's what I'm going to have to do. And then, because if I can get to Germany, if I can get to, actually, I got to go to Zurich, to Switzerland. This is where I need to go, to Zurich, Switzerland. And I know the bank and everything. I got this all written down. I know a bank. I got the <laughs> handprints. You can only deal with them if you, you do handprints. You, you scan your eyes, they scan your hands and everything. See, I'm not stupid, eh? So nobody can steal my money. So that's why they're doing all of this shit. So I can to try to try to try to imitate me somehow and stuff. But the government, they, they know that they're not allowed to do that. They're not allowed to give people spaceships to abduct people, to try to steal from other people and stuff. That's just a grave and sin. That's one of the Ten Commandments, two shalt not covet. That's exactly what that means. Now, I have $30 million in Dutch Reichmarks. That's a lot of money, man. And I believe I kill people for a living. That's what I was doing. And, and then they put me in my brother's identification. Well, this way I can go and I can get my real identity back. And I can just go here, you know. And then, say, if James wants to have his... His identification back, then he does. If not, then I then I'll have then I'll have um, and then I can choose whoever I want to be. I'm gonna be who I want to be, who I'm really supposed to be, not who the people you want me to be. Like like if they switched me and James when we were kids, I don't think they did that. But I have pictures of me at Graham and Grandpa's pace with Auntie Vera, and James never met Auntie Vera, but I did with Auntie Vera and. And and I have black hair, same as uh, same as you know, like uh, Donna Friesen. She her hair looks blondish, but it's blackish colored. Her hair is blackish colored, her true hair color. So yeah, same as my hair. And my in the picture, I have black hair, jet black hair, just jet black as can be, and green eyes. And same as in in the other picture when they got the picture of me at the old house where I was living on 167th Street, where James was living, he wasn't there. He was, I can prove, he was at the Le Misericordia Hospital at the time that picture was taken. So that would prove that there's another one of them. There's two of us. And where James is, I don't know. I do care about him. I don't know whether they're trying to kill him off or what they're trying to do, but I don't have no ill malice towards James. I actually would, I'd actually appreciate if somebody would help me to clear up and get my criminal record sealed so I can go to Germany. I want to go to, to Zurich, Switzerland. I want to go over there and travel over there and, and see if this is true. If not, and go over there for a holiday. Oh, well, what's I got to do? If it's not true, it's not true. But I believe it's true. If I, if I believe enough to want to go there for a fact, it says, this is what an old Indian told me. He said, he said, live your memories. And this other fella said, believe half of what you hear and all of what you see. Believe half of what you hear and all of what you see. So, and what I see, and I have different colored hair. You know, because of the Sarah nerve gas, it turns your hair white. That's why we get older and white, because they've been putting Sarah nerve gas in the water. Turns your beard white. You wouldn't be white. People don't age. People's beards get old. People look old because the same as gray, gray, gray beard. If you have a gray beard, that's grains, gray, grains. No, eat white bread. Always anti-flossy. Don't, if you have to eat brown bread, brown bread. Other than that, just white or brown. Don't eat any, any 10 grain. No, nothing with grain in it. Don't eat anything gray in, gray in you. See, I'm smart, man. I'm smart as a whip. I'm also built like a brick shit house too. I'm 215 pounds, 5'11", 215 pounds with size 11 feet. 
I'm big, man. I'm pretty huge. All I walk around, I'm like a tank, man. As everybody's like, holy shit, who's this? <laughs> yeah, I know I drink a bit sometimes, Uncle Pa. I know I gotta, I'm gonna have to quit drinking if I want to do this, so I'm gonna have to quit my drinking. I got one last nip, and then from there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a break after that. I'm gonna give my drinking a break, and then I'm gonna, I'm going to go on my plan and I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to try to go go to the uh, to the camp agency. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to try to get some extra work for all of this so I can do this. And then I'm going to go through and, and try to get it. And then I'm going to go there. Because so, if I go in there, all I'm going to have to do, I speak German. I speak Swiss Dutch, high Dutch. I speak high Dutch, Auntie Ernie. I speak Dutch and I speak German. I speak high and low German, Dutch. And Yiddish, I speak pretty much every dialect of German, is very understandable. Mine is word for word German. Word for word for word Deutsch, just sprouts and word for word Deutsch. Mein Deutsch is prime Deutsch, ja. Just sprouts and gut Deutsch, ja. It's alle über the place, some platz, some under sieht. It's alle good. The Shabbat sagen. Ali is good when you're arbiet mac frey. Yeah, when work sets you free, work sets you free. So I'm going to have to somehow get the money somehow, or if somebody believes me enough to, to, to help me with my criminal record and stuff and go in on this with somebody that's a believer, because I believe in this, I have memories of this. I have memories of killing people. I have also memories of being a fighter pilot. I don't think it was R.I. and Thomas Nelson that was a fighter pilot. I have memories and stuff. And and basically on TV, too, I've heard people... One time I was watching this show and this guy said, Yeah, you've done James Bond, man. You name it, you've done it. You've done it. Everything, you've done it. Killed people, you've done the whole works and stuff. And oh, yeah. And they were talking to me via the TV, telling me all this. I'm like... Oh, really now? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're a real rock star. You're a real superhero, man. You killed bad people, man. You were a good, good person. You're an honest person. You hardly, you never slept with anybody. You never let women get in the way of anything. You see, you just get stuck to your job and this is what you did. And I'm like, oh, oh, holy shit, man. So believe that. Can you believe that? But you look at me, man. I'm I'm trained in, in in martial arts. I'm a black belt, and I'm a Shaolin warrior. I'm a Shaolin monk. I can spin the Mustafa the speed of sound. I can break the speed of sound with a Mustafa. My Mustafa, I can swing it around and break the sound barrier with my Mustafa. So that's pretty heavy duty. <laughs> I'm pretty solid and stuff. So I wish you well, Uncle Pa and Auntie Ernie and stuff. I hope the business is going good and stuff like that. But I don't know if you want my opinion about Edgar. I think that Edgar and Ewan were been trying to claim that they're the homosexual godhead. And and I I, I don't know. And it, it says it's, it is what it is. It says Ed's been and a rapes and oppressions, rapes and oppression in the government ghettos, rape Sandy. Rape Sandy Johnson and oppression in the government ghettos. And, and when I was doing my prophecy work and stuff, and I read James's prophecies, and, and I couldn't believe it. And it says that about Edgar. says he raped Sandy Johnson, and she turned on James. When James was little, all of a sudden she didn't want to be his girlfriend, and she freaked right out on him, scratched him all up and everything like that. And that tells me same as... There's people talking in the bar about Edgar Rape and Alan Spoiling, Eileen Alan Spoil. So he's got, I would not have fucking nothing to do with them. Unless it's his blue brother, blue-eyed Ewan that did that. But he has a brother. Edgar Ashanko has a brother. Edgar has brown eyes. You got to remember that. Don't confuse him. Edgar's the one that's got the rap. The blue-eyed Edgar doesn't have the rap on him. And stuff. He's not the bad one. He's the better one. It's the brown eyed Edgar that has the rap. Same as James. He's got some accusations from with Crystal Olsen, but he never molested her. He didn't molest her. He just tickled her and said, How come you guys are uncovered? Why are you guys uncovered? You should be covered up and 
And saying, yeah, everything okay? And Chris says, I want my dad. I was like, no. And that's what James remembered. And I remember this too. I have his some of his memories. And I remember that too. No, no, no. And Harmony. Harmony. Fucking scumbag piece of shit. Lied. She lied. And then she ended up recanting all of Oh, you know, I just kind of lied. He could have killed... He could have died. I could have died for this shit, for the, the stuff she's saying. They're not good people, man. Uncle Rod, they're not good people. You're cool, Uncle Pa. I know I look just like you, Rennie Belinsky, and Jim Werbisky. <laughs> and the three dads, that's true. And we come from the Birdopolis family. We're, we're Greek. We're from the Parthenon. The Parthenon. Arthur, oh, wake up, Uncle Rod. We're from the Parthenon. From Zeus, direct descendant of King Zeus. That's right, Grandma Birdopolis. That's right, the old bugger comes from Zeus's lineage. Believe that, that's the fact, truthful. And the founder of the modern government was, is Greek. They're the founders of the modern government, same as all the gods and stuff. The gods, Zeus was the king of all gods. We were the king of all gods. We're the king of all the gods. And you're the one that's supposed to, it's your throne. <laughs> that's not fucking Prince Charles' throne. It's your throne. Until, until you pass away, and then I inherit the throne. And everything. And Prince Charles, is just fucking, they're fucking delusional, man. No, no, no. I have permission, or proof and permission from publishers. I got their permission through the publishers that it was in fact a true story and that Victoria, Queen Victoria married her cousin cousin because King George couldn't have children. So so it fell on his wife. So, but that so they broke the lineage. So they don't have any royal lineage. We do, Uncle Rod. Through Jim Werbisky of all people. Yep, yep, yep. Scotland. That's right. And then there's William Watson. Grandpa Watson had green eyes, not blue eyes. Grandpa has green eyes and Grandma has brown eyes. James Ian Werbisky has brown hair and brown eyes. Just like Grandma Watson, curly hair. The children, Rennie, Hilda and Rennie, the children. Why my beard looks like Rennie Belinsky's beard? My beard is all curly it's kind of even worse today because it's, uh, I haven't showered yet. I'll shower to later on though. Don't worry, I promise. I keep clean. And that, uh, mm, yeah, I did get some money from the government there. Christia Freeland gave me 350 bucks and I did get that money. So I'm going to use that money to help fight. I'm starting this in, in, and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. I don't want to um, annoy you guys or anything. I love you guys a lot and stuff. But yeah, no, remember. The blue-eyed Edgar is the good one. And his name's not Edgar, it's Chanko. I'd ask him for the truth. But the brown-eyed Ed, no, no. Practicing homosexuality on, on Rhoda and stuff. And she's not even my mom. My mom is, is Annie Oakley or Annie Marita. She has green eyes. I have pictures of mom with green eyes. She has green eyes. <laughs> she does. She has green eyes. And Grandpa has green eyes in these pictures when you were little, Uncle Rod. Yeah, and Mom has green eyes, and Grandpa has has green eyes too. Grandpa has green eyes. So if they made you have brown eyes, you either come from there. There's twin, 